Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course I'm Clayton Schick. This is the wonderful outdoors. Carter's putting his gloves on because it's a cold, cold fall day and we are on, we're on a mission. We're on a mission for tiger trout. Carter has never caught a tiger trout before. So I brought him to the Manitoba Parkland region, which I'll talk more about in this video, about what all different species there are and different lakes and opportunities. But today, tiger trout is the mission. Carter's right now casting a frosty clownfish, which is a rattle bait from Frostbite, a tantrum it's called. And I'm going to cast a little uh, rapala bait, which I'll show a little bit later. So let's see if we can put some tiger trout in the boat. Did you follow me? Oh yeah, Carter, just drop it down. Just drop it down. Drop it down and jig it. Just jig it. Oh yeah, he came right up. He was gonna hit it, I think. He was looking for it even. Oh jeez. <laughs> Come up right to the boat. Like from underneath it. Look at all of them. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh baby. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Reel in real quick. Oh. <laughs> I should have just grabbed the net from you. Oh. It's gonna come there. Yeah. <laughs> it's completely different than a walleye. <laughs> Out of boy. Okay, put him in the water, put him in the water. We're good. <laughs> Just keep, yeah, perfect. Okay. I almost screwed that up. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. We're good. We're good. Nice. Okay. Probably about an 18 inch or bit right near the boat. Okay, we'll get this board wet real quick here. Bring them up, measure them, show them off, and get them back in. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Settle down. The smaller they are, the harder they are to handle. Oh yeah, it's over 20. So that would be a Manitoba Master Angler right there at 20 and three quarters. A beautiful 20 and three quarter inch tiger trout. We're after bigger, but that is a great start for the day. Nice. Perfect. See you, little buddy. So I caught that bait on a little Rapala X Rap. I don't know if it's that little feather tail on this bait, but this is a little tiger trout killer. That was intense, eh? <laughs> Trout fishing or musky fishing? Wow. That was in, that was so intense. That was a nice one. Oh yeah. Man, was that intense. Oh, I, thought, I do have a little guy. I was like, I thought I got something going on here. A tiny little guy. Okay. Well, this lake, this lake has been freshly stocked, as you can see, 
This little guy, and we saw, we've seen a pile, pile of these little ones so far. So that's good. So I'm not gonna really show him off too great because I don't wanna lose my grip of him and have him flop in, but that's our second tiger trout landed and our third one hooked. That little guy was caught on a rose gold little Cleo, one third ounce. Little spoons like this, little Cleos are a great little stock trout bait for sure. It's been slower for us. We fished for three hours now total. Like I said, we've landed two, hooked three total. We might go fool around a little bit with some uh, slip sinkers and stuff like that with some trout dough or slip bobbers and some trout dough just so I can get some drone footage and all that fun stuff here. And then as the evening progresses, we'll switch back to more of an active bait. Stock trout lakes, primarily a lot of times the early morning bite and that dusk bite are gonna be your best two times for sure. There we go. You got one? Yep. As soon as I hit the surf. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's freaking. That was so cool. As soon as I hit the surface, second, second snap, and it just nailed me. Oh yeah. Come on, stay, stay on. It's not giant, but it's nice. Come on. It's that, it's getting to be that twitching hour, Carter. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Shut my trolling motor off. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Okay, now, yeah, deadly, deadly. Okay, well, my third tiger trout of the day, 19 incher right there. So not the biggest though. Oh, why is this not, are you kidding me? Thanks again for nothing, GoPro. I had an epic moment with all this fish jumping. Everything was awesome. Go to save my clip and everything's frozen. You're awesome GoPro. It's really important too on these lakes in the Parkland region to really check the regulations because it varies from lake to lake. For example, the lake that we're on right now has a zero limit and it's only artificial baits. Whereas some of the other stock trout lakes you can use baits like minnows, worms, all that stuff, or you can keep a fish too. But the lake we're on right now, zero. Like absolutely zero. 100% catch and release and artificial baits. So it's very important before you go to all these lakes to check all the regulations for each lake because they're all different. Yes, oh, it's, it's small, but it's a fish. <laughs> your first, your first tiger trout. Should I net them so you could just get your first tiger trout? Nah. Here, I'll add them for you though. They're squirrely. Okay. Well, Carter, I wish I could say your first one was a big one, but it's not. You did good though. He's cute. Your first tiger trout ever. Hey, you can only go up from here. Yeah. Got a boy. Is that Susie hit the water too? Yeah. Really? Hey, Susie hit the water. Got a boy. Oh yeah, it's not that big, I don't think, but that is insane. Can't see it the sun. Oh, it's just a little guy. Hooked in the back. Yeah, the hook probably slipped on him. <laughs> they fight hard like that, don't they? I won't even net him, because he's hooked in the back, won't even net him. But he obviously took a swipe out if he hit it as soon as they hit the water. It just must have went down his back, and or down his mouth. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. They're getting bigger, Carter. They're getting bigger. Oh. oh. It was best off he was in the water <laughs> and not in the boat. So I'll take you up to the, the screens that we're using right now. Or I'm using the Mega Live to kind of look around and locate fish, which has been good. I can spin it and see fish when casting to it. But it hasn't like really definitely like secured us any fish at this point i'd say the fish aren't very very active but hopefully as the night progresses they will but the main feature that we're using that is definitely helping us score fish is the lake master chip by hummingbird which i have right in my hummingbird unit here it's got all the contours of this lake and then we can just follow there's like a little bit of a weed edge here i put the drone up earlier and there was a nice weed edge all along here and we're kind of staying on the edge of it and just casting along that weed edge so that's been uh, kind of like our ticket so far. 
We've noticed a couple of these fish, they seem to be hitting as soon as the bait hits the water. So I'm not really sure what that means or what we should be using, but we're just gonna keep plugging along here. The wind's picked up a little bit and hopefully when the sun starts to set, we smash a few big ones yet. Well, that will wrap up our day. The sun is just starting to set, but it's getting a little bit cooler. There's probably a good bite yet to be had eventually, maybe. I'd say today was definitely a grind. Right, Carter? Yeah. It was a grind, for sure. But I'm gonna make a video of it anyway to show you that not every day is smoking barrels. We did get one master angler, which is great in that sense. One that was very close and a couple of little guys. We saw lots of little tiny ones, which is so good for the future. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to get outside. <laughs>